now on Coast TV News. It's been the honor of my lifetime to serve as your president. I love the job, but I love my country more. I love my country more. Biden's night at the DNC, the president highlights his accomplishment as his party is ready to move on. And we say so long to the storms and humidity and hello to sunshine and comfortable temperatures. I'll have the latest on a taste of fall and how long it will stick around in my full forecast just ahead. Dealing with dune damage, we update the work being done to repair the breach near the Indian River Inlet. Waiting on weed license. That is what a number of businesses in Delaware are doing as the application process opens for future marijuana shops. This is Coast TV News Today. It is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Paige Marley is off today. Thank you for being up with us during this five o'clock hour. And first alert meteorologist Chris Mastroboto is in for Bob Trahe. He joins us now with a look at the forecast. Good morning, Chris. Pleasant good morning, Matt. And yeah, we had another round of storms last night. Uh, there were some uh, a do a drenching downpours to say the least, but those have all since cleared the coast. We are beginning to see the clouds thin out and more importantly, northwest winds are kicking in, helping to push that humidity out to sea. And we are going to see quite a nice bit of dry air over the next few days. In fact, we're going to be dry for the next seven to 10 days as we're going to be seeing some nice fall like air move in live in Dover. We are seeing a temperature of 65 degrees. Note the dew point 56 degree dew point. So that comfortable dry air is beginning to filter into Del the Delmarva Peninsula. So yes, it's a breath of fresh air waking up this morning. Fall like air has arrived. Now we are still dealing with rip currents, moderate risk today. So the seas are beginning to calm. Sunny, dry, spectacular stretch. We're going to have highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. Here's the temperatures currently 65 in Seaford. We're at 66 in Milton, 66 in Salisbury. Dew points are beginning to fall across the area, all thanks to that northwesterly flow. So temperatures are going to rise to around 66 by around 9, expecting mostly sunny skies throughout your Tuesday with temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 70s. And we'll talk about how long this dry, comfortable stretch of weather is going to last in the full seven day forecast in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Chris. Work on a breach of the sand dunes near the Indian River Inlet Bridge. So this breach occurred Sunday night, forced that area of coastal highway to close for several hours. This is at the Delaware Seashore State Park and flooding on the north side of the bridge. That's been a problem for years. We saw a similar scene in late March. So we went to the state park to get a firsthand look at what the situation was like. And one local fisherman talked to Coast TV and says he is shocked to see this much damage by the passing storm. It, it's amazing that um, just this little bit, you know, can stir up uh, that side of the road for some reason there's there's something going on in that area um, it's been happening most of the summer and in the lull between high tides denrec and del dot name and hard at work using that window to try to put a makeshift fix in place this does bring us to our coast tv poll we want to know what is your biggest concern with flooding on our roadways let's take a look at the results 42% of you saying emergency service delays. You also have a good number of votes for evacuation routes and global warming increasing. A couple of votes there also for local travel times. If you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttvnews.com or on our mobile app. We're taking a live look now at Chicago as it awaits day two of the Democratic National Convention. It was just after, or is just after four in the morning there. But it was just a couple of hours ago, President Joe Biden closed out day one with a speech. The start of the convention comes nearly a month after Biden announced the end of his reelection bid. And Brian Abel shows us how the goal of Monday was to make a smooth transition to his vice president. Are you ready to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz? In the first night of the Democratic National Convention, President Joe Biden energizing Democrats in Chicago and passing the torch to his vice president and his party's nominee, Kamala Harris. Democracy has delivered. And now democracy must be preserved. The DNC crowd erupting as Harris herself surprised many with an onstage appearance, 
Joe, thank you for your historic leadership, for your lifetime of service to our nation. First Lady Jill Biden calling on those who support her husband to back Harris. Joe and I know Kamala. We have seen her courage, her determination, and her leadership up close. The first female nominee of a major political party, Hillary Clinton, addressing the proverbial glass ceiling she herself failed to fully shatter. On the other side of that glass ceiling is Kamala Harris raising her hand and taking the oath of office as our 47th president of the United States. Meanwhile, Republican nominee and former President Donald Trump in battleground Pennsylvania. Kamala Harris is an economy wrecker and a country destroyer. Now the DNC continues to day two with headliner former President Barack Obama. In Washington, Brian Abel reporting. NBC News will provide extensive on-the-ground reporting and special primetime coverage from Chicago's United Center during the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Lester Holt and Savannah Guthrie will anchor Decision 2024 special primetime coverage from Chicago 10 to 11 p.m. tonight and then from 9 to 11 p.m. on Wednesday and Thursday. Happening tonight, a focus on open spaces in Milton. The town's Park and Recreation Committee could decide to send its plan to town council for approval. Part of it is taking an inventory of parks like Memorial Park there and other open spaces, as well as the conditions of these areas. Town officials say the goal is the preservation of open spaces. Do have an update on a tragic accident in Seaford. Delaware State Police have identified the three-year-old who died in a bicycle crash on August 15th as Osiris Tovar. The three-year-old was hit by a Toyota Tacoma that was turning on North Parkway Road. Tovar was taken to an area hospital where he later passed away. We have developing news in Worcester County. A Berlin woman facing 90 charges relating to child abuse and second-degree assault appeared in court on Tuesday. This was supposed to be the start of a seven-day trial, but instead, Heather Ward entered a guilty plea. In November 2023, the Worcester County Sheriff's Office and Child Protective Services were notified that an eight-month-old had been admitted to Atlantic General Hospital with a broken tibia. The online application for recreational marijuana businesses in Delaware is now underway. And the Office of the Marijuana Commissioner tells us over 120 licenses are up for grabs. The office is expecting about 500 applications. The licenses will be broken up into categories, including manufacturing, cultivation, and retail. All of the qualified applicants will be entered into a lottery, and if you're going to apply, you'll need a comprehensive business plan and plans for safety and security. Coast TV spoke with a business owner in Rehoboth Beach who was hoping to be one of those lottery winners. I was a little surprised to see the two-week earlier uh, application uh, date. Um, which is great, um, but it really definitely sets the wheels in motion and uh, solidifies the, all right, it's go time. The application period opened up two weeks ahead of schedule. It closes September 30th. Legendary talk show host Phil Donahue has died at the age of 88. In a statement to People and NBC News, his family says he died Sunday following a long illness. Donahue was surrounded by family, including his wife of 44 years. Donahue pioneered a new format for daytime television as the host of the Phil Donahue Show. This was from 1967 to 1996. He was also referred to as the king of daytime talk. And in May, President Joe Biden awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. For some of us, there are still several weeks of summer left. For others, it is a sign that Summer is nearing an end. On Monday, the Seaford School District welcomed back its staff members. Teachers will be getting ready for the school year and doing a bit of professional development. Students have one week of summer left there. Pre-K through ninth grade will begin classes next Monday, August 26th. The first day for all students is next Tuesday, the 27th. And we're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News today. Coming up, Beach Patrol Battles. A look at the number of rescues made in Ocean City on Monday. Also, eyeing eagles, the plans of the Botanic Gardens for expanded bird watching. An air show alert, the changes in traffic expected for this weekend's OC Air Show. Coast TV News Today, back after this. 
Hurricane season is here, which means power outages can strike any time without warning. Don't get caught in the dark. Let the expert electricians at FH Fur install a Generac whole home standby generator, keeping your lights on, your family connected, and your home safe no matter what. Call FH Fur today and get $1,000 off. Plus, for a limited time, we'll include a whole home surge protector absolutely free. When Mother Nature strikes, it's too late. Stay powered and stay safe with FH Fur. 877 call fur FHFur.com if you're looking to build at the beach, the Lee and Wilkinson Group is here to represent you. We'll guide you through the process to turn your dream home into a reality. Our long-standing relationships with both the large and boutique builders and extensive knowledge of our market are just some of the reasons why we've been the number one real estate team in coastal Delaware for over 25 years. From foundation to forever, the Lee and Wilkinson Group is a proud affiliate of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, PenFed Realty. You're not going to want to miss this. Jeopardy. It's like the Everest of trivia. Spit and truth therapy. You got to feel smart. If you want to look smart, just smart, be smart, think smart, look smart, be smart. You are smart, smarty pants. What is equus? Nitroglycerin. Avignon. Hyperglycemia. You got revenge on that category. Oh, I sure did. You got to unleash the power. Woo! That's the path to Jeopardy success. You know, I like that, yeah. Yeah. New episodes September 9th on Coast TV. There are many details that shouldn't be overlooked when buying or selling your coins. Mint mark, date, and condition are all factors in determining a coin's value. Don't get ripped off. Find someone reputable who can answer your questions and pay you top dollar on the spot. Look to see if they broadcast current values live and if they use Graysheet for determining your coin's value. To learn more about Robinson's family of businesses, the coin and jewelry experts, visit Delmarva Experts on WBOC.com. Good Tuesday morning, Delmarva Live looking to Ocean City. Some of those high clouds thinning out. Sunrise coming up at 620. That moon last night, that super moon was certainly something. And uh, 68 currently right now in Ocean City, dew point 64. We are beginning to see the dew points crash all thanks to that northwesterly flow. Right now waking up to temperatures generally in the 60s across the area. 64 Georgetown, 66 in Salisbury. We're at 69 in Bethany Beach. There's those winds gusting anywhere between about 10 to 20 out of the north northwest. So if you're heading out this afternoon on the course, we are, yeah, certainly a hole in one kind of forecast, a bit on the breezy side, but we're going to be at 76 degrees, a comfortable day at that with the lower humidity and we're going to see quite a beautiful stretch of weather here over the course of the next seven days. I'll break it all down in my full forecast in just a few minutes. Yeah, Chris, you had the old Billy Baru out for that putt there. A heads up if you plan on being in Ocean City this upcoming weekend. A travel advisory has been issued. This is related to the OC Air Show. You can expect heavy traffic delays in the downtown area. Also some road closures. This takes effect on August 23rd. 12th through 20th Street will be closed and barricaded off, and that's going to last through Sunday the 25th. Few roads will actually stay closed into Monday, and parking will be tight. Ocean City buses will be running from 6 a.m. to 3 a.m. Ride all day passes are $4. Dewey Beach looking to make safety upgrades, specifically the upgrades that will keep pedestrians out of harm's way. They now have a survey that you can reply to on the town's website, and the results will be shared with the town manager and the town council the town has already done a lot of work to this end, lowering speed limits on coastal highway, road markings, even warnings at crosswalks. The town is also requesting dulled out lower those flashing yellow beacons so they are more visible to drivers and they will be removing some trees from the center island so it's easier to see people crossing the road. New survey data released shows Americans are starting to feel increasingly worried about losing their jobs. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York's latest survey on consumer labor market experiences and expectations showed job, age, and benefit satisfaction all sank in July. It also found the average expected likelihood of becoming unemployed rose to 4.4 percent. That's the highest on record for the survey, which was started 10 years ago. It's a common trend these days. People often like to scroll through a bunch of videos on YouTube or TikTok. New research shows skipping around the lot or going backwards or forwards on the same video actually makes people more bored. Researchers at the University of Toronto performed two experiments on about 1,200 people, and the study found participants who watched the video straight through felt more engaged and satisfied in skipping around. 
Coming up, rising water rescue. How people trapped in that building were taken to safety. Also, Wilderness Watch, the plans to view bald eagles at the Botanic Gardens. Well, waking up to a bit of clouds cover over the area, but we are seeing clearing skies, maybe some donuts as well for you this morning. We are going to see temperatures rise to the mid 70s this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, low humidity. In fact, we are in for quite a beautiful stretch of weather. A little bit of taste of fall in Delmarva. Your full seven day forecast is coming up next when Coast TV News today continues. We're Coast Country and we're Delmarva proud. Today at 4 on Coastlight, elevate your summer meals with elegant Mediterranean dishes. Plus, take a peek at a peaceful community that's the perfect retreat. And is August too soon for pumpkin spice lattes? Coastlight, today at 4 on Coast TV. I've been thinking about renovating my garage floor. And suddenly, I'm seeing signs everywhere. The universe keeps hitting, even at my local gas company. Pinnacle concrete is everywhere. And again, multiple signs at the print store. The signs are too strong to ignore. It's time to call. With so many options, my dream is taking shape. And now, I'm not just seeing signs, I'm living proof. Pinnacle Concrete Coatings, because quality matters. Be advised, this is a great opportunity to save thousands on a hot tub and swim spa. Friday through Sunday, millions of dollars of Factory Direct 2024 inventory with Comico Civic Center. Hundreds of different models to choose from. See the revolutionary swim spot. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs in stock, ready for delivery. Save thousands. 18-month interest-free financing. Trade-ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. With Comico Civic Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855-SPA-SALE. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness? If you've ever experienced the warning signs of bad circulation, then you need Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. Soothe pain and calm restless legs. Reduce swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet and stimulate healthy circulation. Stay active with Legsercise Pro. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Download the Coast TV News app on your Apple or Android devices. Time is 517 and you're looking live at Ocean City. You got some light there you can see from the full moon. We had it earlier, though. Doesn't look as light now, but Chris, we are saying goodbye today to some of that stickiness that we've been feeling. Oh yeah, yeah, we are pushing that well out to sea and we are seeing uh, humidity levels beginning to drop across the peninsula. Waking up right now, heading out the door, not too bad. Temperatures right now are generally in the 60s. 68 there at Bethany Beach, we're at 66 in Lewis, 63 in Milford, and 66 in Salisbury. Now we're gonna continue to see those dew points fall. 59 degree dew point there in Milford. We're in the 60s elsewhere, but they're going to continue to plunge throughout the morning and day, all thanks to that northwesterly flow. We'll see winds anywhere from 10 to 20 throughout the afternoon. Clouds are beginning to thin out across the peninsula. We had the cold front pass through last night. High pressure settling in and a lot of dry, comfortable air back off to the west here is filtering into the eastern half of the country. So if you're heading out of town, maybe heading over to uh, Dallas or uh, Baltimore or Philly this afternoon, we are going to be relatively good. Clear sailing throughout most of your uh, airports throughout the eastern half of the country. No major storms to contend with, so perfect traveling weather throughout much of the eastern half of the country. As I mentioned, we say so long to the humidity over this, uh, really the next week or so, with temperatures uh, getting into the mid-70s this afternoon. We're at 75 in Lewis this afternoon. Bit on the breezy side, 75 Cambridge, and we'll see 77 in Salisbury this afternoon, 77 in Ocean City. There's the clear skies throughout the afternoon. By tonight, we're falling into the low to mid 50s. So maybe give the air conditioner a bit of a break. Tomorrow afternoon, we're in the mid to upper 70s as well. And we continue the sunshine into Thursday as well. Acetate, you're at 73 for your Wednesday and keeping it in the low 70s throughout the week there. Ocean City, we're at 75. A low risk of rip currents by Wednesday. So that is a good sign as the seas come. 80 for your Thursday in Lewis. And we're at 75 there in Rehoboth. 
Beach. As I mentioned, coast has been getting pummeled by those waves over the past few days. The wave heights are dropping, all thanks to Ernesto being history now out in the Atlantic. 76 this afternoon, mostly sunny skies. We're saying so long the humidity. 54 overnight, starry skies open the windows. Cool, crisp air continues into your Wednesday, 75 with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Now, over the next 6 to 10 days, you see well above average temperatures throughout the Midwest. Even though we're in the 70s over the next few days, I don't think we're going to be done with the 90-degree temperatures, unfortunately. But we do stay relatively dry from August 25th through the 29th. And congratulations to our umbrella winner, Lou Ann Sizemore of Millsbury, Delaware. You're the winner of our Paul Davis umbrella. We stay dry through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll see more average-like temperatures over the weekend, but you see what's lurking towards the tail end of that seven-day forecast. Yeah, the return of 90-degree temperatures by the start of next week. All right, thank you, Chris. Delaware's Botanic Gardens are known for their natural beauty, and as you walk through the woods at the gardens, you might find that you're just steps away and feet under a bald eagle's nest. Stephen Price Lee says the support for a soon-to-be eagle cam has been soaring, raising $80,000 for installation. So the eagles uh, fledged the nest at around the end of July, early August. This year we had two quite large fledglings leave along around the same time as their parents. And we do want to note the Eagle Cam will only be installed in a specific window when it will not disturb the birds. We have more information on this on our website, coasttv.com. Still ahead, turbulent tides in OC dozens rescued as the beach patrol there deals with dangerous waters. And how about these dangerous waters? We show you the flood that forced a flee from that building Coast TV News Today returns in a moment. Capture your favorite moments at the Coast TV photo booth. Strike a pose and snap a pic all for free. View previous pictures and see the next event at CoastTV.com under the Features tab. The Coast TV photo booth, sponsored by Baths by Spicer Brothers. Get the Coast TV First Alert weather app with live satellite and radar, severe weather alerts, and extended forecast. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app, sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. My impact matters at Life's Energy Wellness Center. I can see that. We believe in providing our communities with services and spaces that support individualized recovery and fosters hope in all areas of wellness. We're hiring behavioral health professionals and administrative support staff. We offer paid professional development training, hybrid and flexible scheduling, and supervision hours. Juntos podemos crear una comunidad de apoyo y resiliencia. Your impact matters. Sly online today. Over 50 years ago, JD Asphalt was built on a strong foundation of family values. So when you call us, you'll speak to a member of our family, like me, where I'll talk you through our entire process, answering any questions you have along the way, and delivering prompt free estimates no matter the size of the job. Call now and ask about our 0% financing options, or visit our website for special discounts. JD Asphalt, a trusted family company for over 50 years. Shop, play, learn, explore at the OC RV and Van Lifestyle Show, the premier gathering for RV enthusiasts and outdoor lovers. From October 31st to November 3rd, the Ocean City Convention Center transforms into a hub of excitement and exploration. With RVs, custom vans, e-bike, golf cart, and boat test ride zones, seminars, water sports, power sports, and a wide selection of the latest gear, you'll find everything you need to enhance your next adventure. Enjoy BMX and skateboarding competitions, tiki boat cruises, and more. Buy tickets and explore with us at OCRVshow.com. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. It has the motor and blades built right into the lid, so blend a shake at the gym, make pina coladas by poolside, or grind coffee beans for an iced cold brew on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 with free shipping. You'll also get two sipping lids, a second container, and the sports lid. Get it all for just $29.99. Order now. Take your favorite radio station with you wherever you go. Download free today. More than a dozen people and one dog were rescued from a flooded restaurant in nearby homes in Connecticut on Sunday. Firefighters rescued the people from the Brookside Inn restaurant and from an adjacent home. A crew was staged near the restaurant when it was reported that the flood water 
was rising and there were concerns about the restaurant structure being compromised. There were 18 people actually inside. Firefighters helped all the people walk up the aerial ladder. One person was carried up the ladder from a Stokes basket. And along our coast, the tropical storm activity churning up the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. On Monday, the Ocean City Beach Patrol says it made 78 rescues, 78. The patrol is on the beaches 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. during its season. That ends September 22nd. They do warn that swimming when lifeguards are off duty is dangerous. We're joined again by First Alert Meteorologist Chris Mastrobono. And, well, Chris, we just saw the challenges lifeguards on our beaches are dealing with even though it looks like it's going to be a pleasant day today. Without a question, you know, we've been dealing with those dangerous rip currents over the past few days. Now, today we have a moderate risk, so that is a good sign. Seas are beginning to calm a bit. Now, we are going to see plenty of sunshine throughout the afternoon. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 70s. We're at a 9 as far as the UV index is concerned. Burn time's coming in at 20 minutes. Now, as far as your forecast along the bay, waking up to temperatures in the 60s, mostly sunny skies this afternoon, lower humidity, which we're going to be very thankful of over the next few days. As I mentioned, moderate risk of rip currents. Now, seas today, Two to three feet. We're at 71 in Lewis by around noon, 71 in Rehoboth, topping out in the mid 70s this afternoon. So, a gorgeous day at the coast, a gorgeous day inland, and we're going to in for a really nice stretch of weather here. We'll talk about how warm those temperatures are going to get over the next few days and my full forecast in just a few minutes. For Biden, the president closes out day one of the Democratic National Convention as the rival ticket counters some of his claims. Also, Milton Park Plan, the proposal to preserve open spaces near the banks of the Broadkill and battling the breach, the work being done to repair damaged dunes and have all lanes of Coastal Highway reopened. That and more when Coast TV News Today returns. Got a plumbing problem that can't wait? Then why would you? At FH Fur, we know how frustrating it is to be stuck waiting for help, which is why we offer same day service guaranteed. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a broken pipe, you name it, the expert plumbers at FH Fur are standing by and ready to get you out of hot water, or maybe into some hot water if that's your issue. Same day service guaranteed, regardless of your plumbing predicament. 877 call fur FHFur.com. in these conversations. Let's do this! Let's make everyone's day a little brighter. Drew Barrymore, weekdays at noon on Coach TV. This is the revolutionary socket fan by Bell & Howe, the amazing two-in-one ceiling fan and light. If you can screw in a light bulb, you can hang the socket fan light. Socket fan comes with this handy remote. You can control the light and the breeze that you need. Socket fan fits any standard light socket. You can do it yourself in less than 10 seconds. And now the socket fan lights with deep socket extender is yours for $49.95 with free shipping. Order now and you can get a second fan for 50% off. Get cool fast with socket fan. Now on Coach TV News. Overcoming ocean obstacle, that is what is being faced as repairs to the dunes near the Indian River Inlet continue. And we're saying so long to the storms and humidity and hello to sunshine and comfortable temperatures. I'll have the latest on a taste of fall that's arriving to Delmarva and how long it will stick around in my full forecast just ahead. What entire trouble, look at this, this massive fire in Mississippi still ongoing and the challenges Delta Cruz attempting to put it out. Day one at DNC was capped by Democrats in attendance showing appreciation for President Biden. This is Coast TV News Today. August 20th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Paige Marley has the day off. 
Time is 529 on this Tuesday morning, and first alert meteorologist Chris Mastrobono is in for Bob Trahe, and he joins us now to help you prepare as you make your way out the door. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Matt. Hope everyone's uh, Tuesday is off to a nice start. We certainly are weather-wise improving after those drenching downpours we had last night, clearing the coast as the front pushes through, and we are seeing dry air filter into the Delmarva Peninsula. High pressure back off to the west. You see nothing back off to the west. You could go all the way back to Minneapolis, St. Louis, Memphis. We are dry and clear sailing, and you can see those skies beginning to clear over Do Dover. Beautiful shot there. Six 65 degrees, the dew point 56 as they continue to fall, all thanks to those northwest winds. We're going to be continue to see dry conditions, temperatures in the 60s, and the dew points are falling, which is a good sign because this time yesterday, those dew points were in the 70s. Northwest flow is our friend helping to push the humidity to the south, and we are saying so long to humidity, as I mentioned. Now, we are still dealing with that rip current risk. Moderate today, waves anywhere two to three feet, and we stay rather sunny and dry over the extended period of time. Now, there you see future cast keeping us clear. Temperatures rising into the uh, upper 70s of, uh, today, this afternoon, and we'll be in the low to mid 70s by around your lunchtime. So a really nice afternoon and a really nice stretch of weather shaping up on the peninsula. We'll have that full seven day forecast here in just a few minutes. As Chris just said, we are expecting a calm day, though there were some recent conditions that were not so calm, and that led to the flooding that you see the right there on your screen near the Indian River Inlet. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé has been following this story. Waves washing right up next to the highway, the fallout of an overnight storm. This road was completely flooded, shutting down the Indian River Inlet Bridge. For local fisherman Doug Grossman, it was shocking. I didn't expect this at all. I expected to see more current. Uh, usually the current in here flows pretty good. Flooding on the north side of the Indian River Inlet Bridge has been a problem for years. The sand is constantly eroding, and the clock on solving this problem is ticking. As of right now, Denrec has been placing rocks and other material along the highway to help stop the waves from crashing on the roadways during high tide. I sat down with C.R. McLeod, who is the Director of Community Relations for DelDOT, and he explains the biggest fear when it comes to this type of flooding. Key factors that we're all you know, primarily concerned about is emergency access. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, fire, EMS, police, you know, folks needing to get uh, south of Dewey Beach and you know, north of, of Bethany and Fenwick, uh, that area, you know, we, we wanna make sure that that critical corridor is maintained. In the lull between high tides, Denrec and Deldot have been hard at work, using that window to try and put a makeshift fix in place before sunrise. But Grossman wants to see a permanent solution. It's amazing that um, just this little bit, you know, can stir up uh, that side of the road for some reason. There's, there's something going on in that area. Um, it's been happening most of the summer. I talked to one local who told Coast TV this has been an ongoing issue and he believes it is far from over. I'm Kevin DePay at the Indian River Inlet, Coast TV News. At least two people are dead after powerful storms moved throughout the Northeast on Monday. The severe thunderstorms caused deadly flash flooding in the tri-state area of New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey. That's where roads turned into rivers. Cars were submerged in fast rising waters and water rescues took place on Long Island and in Connecticut. Heavy rain pounded New York and Connecticut overnight. Several roadways were washed away, and according to authorities, two women died after they were swept away from their vehicles in floodwaters on Sunday in Oxford, Connecticut. Check this out, a massive tire fire that started over the weekend. This is in Jackson, Mississippi. It is still burning. Fire broke out Saturday at the Mississippi Tire Recycling Building. Uh, about 10 units responded to this scene when the fire began. Firefighters are working four-hour shifts to allow them to get rest as that fire continues to burn. There was a water main break Sunday evening. That meant the firefighters, they had to use water from their trucks instead of hydrants. And the water main was fixed. Firefighters are now back to using the hydrants as their main water source. Going to take you live now to Chicago. That's a live shot there. Day two of the Democratic National Convention. Now, day one saw some of the party's most prominent figures give speeches. And that included... President Biden. Biden capped the first night of the convention to a grateful crowd. He took to the stage late Monday night.
to more than four minutes of applause. Signs reading, We Love You Joe, displayed throughout the arena. In his address, Biden ran through the highlights of his presidency. Last month, he made a decision from his North Shore's home to end his reelection bid. And on Monday, Biden gave his support to Vice President Harris. Most diverse cabinet in history, including the first black woman in South Asian descent to serve as vice president. And will soon serve as the 47th president of the United States. Now, earlier on Monday, Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance took part in a campaign event in Philadelphia. In his speech, Vance focused heavily on Vice President Harris and her record on the economy. Let's just take stock of the economic record of Kamala Harris. Electricity is up 30%. Food, that's right, food is up more than 20%. Gasoline is up 50%. And this is all because of the policies of Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania is considered a big battleground state. Vance will make a campaign stop in Pittsburgh later in the week. The online application for recreational marijuana businesses in Delaware that is now underway. The Office of the Marijuana Commissioner tells us over 120 licenses are up for grabs. And get this, the office is expecting about 500 applications. The licenses will be broken up into categories, including manufacturing, cultivation, and retail. All the qualified applicants will be entered into a lottery, and if you're applying, you will need a comprehensive business plan, and also you'll need plans for safety and security. The application period opened up two weeks ahead of schedule. It closes September 30th. Happening tonight, a focus on open spaces in Milton. A town's Parks and Recreation Committee could decide to send its plan to town council for approval. Part of it is taking an inventory of parks, like right here at Memorial Park and other open spaces, as well as the conditions of these areas, and town officials say the goal is the preservation of open spaces. A lot more news to get to. Don't go anywhere. And coming up, fresh food for school fixes. How to liven up lunches for children as they head back to school. Also, late inning bust for the birds. How the Orioles let a game and their division lead slip away. And Street Solutions, last moves in Lewis, the latest moves, I should say, to beautify a new subdivision. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. Look around, Delmarva. Have you noticed what everyone has been upgrading their homes with? That's right, our aluminum shingles. Whether on the farm or on the water, our metal shingles are made to withstand the dynamic weather patterns here on the shore. Our aluminum shingles have been tested for winds up to 200 miles per hour, can save you up to 40% on energy bills, and we guarantee them for life. Find out why hundreds of homeowners on Delmarva are making the switch. Call Delmarva Metal Roofing today. Pain and immobility take you away from everything you love to do. That's why at Pam Health Rehabilitation Hospital of Georgetown, our focus is to rebuild your life by providing high-quality, post-acute care to those who suffered from serious injuries or illness. With state-of-the-art facilities, advanced robotics, highly trained professionals, and the highest level of rehabilitation care. It's all about gains. Gain your movement, gain your independence, gain your life back. Pam Health Rehabilitation Hospital of Georgetown. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Get the Coast TV News app, the latest and most up-to-date stories for your coastal community. Coastal news customized to your needs. Download the Coast TV News app on your Apple or Android devices. Coast TV, our community, your news. Well, a pleasant good Tuesday morning. Delmarva, we have a pleasant and gorgeous day on tap 
ahead of us here. We have a temperature of 65 in Salisbury and we are seeing some dry conditions out there. Northwesterly flow temperatures are falling as so is the humidity levels. We are seeing those dew points fall into the 50s right now. We're at 67 in Rehoboth, 65 in Seaford and 64 in Milton. There you see those winds gusting anywhere from 10 to 20 miles an hour, especially at the coast. Now, if you are in for a round of golf later this morning through the afternoon, we are looking really nice, mostly sunny skies with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s with lower humidity levels. And remember, you can get that forecast whenever you want it by calling 443-880-9100 and that is sponsored by Bard, Mandalas, Brockstead and Federico. We'll have a look at that seven day forecast coming up here in just a few moments. Some developing news out of Lewis for you. The Parks and Recreation Commission there is considering recommendations for proposed new town home subdivision. This will be on Savannah Road. The commission is looking at what beautification efforts should be included in the plans like street trees and open space in the area. Lewis business owner David Jones says the addition of these homes can benefit the town and the scenery. It's going to be more people coming to town, more people dining, uh, more people visiting, uh, you know, regular coffee shops and clothing stores, and it's just a win-win situation. And the property is currently zoned for residential. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning, sports fans, and for those of you O's fans who went to bed early, it was a wild finish last night in Queens. Bottom one, Baltimore, they saw enough of this guy in Boston. Former Red Sox, J.D. Martinez goes oppo for his 13th homer of the year. A two-run shot, it's two-nothing Mets in the first. To the third, they didn't have this guy when J.D. was in Boston. How about Jackson Holiday? how do you do? Robs Martinez of a base hit, take another look. The snow cone, the throw from a knee, Business as usual for the kid. Down four, New York's turn to flash the leather. Mark Vientos with the sliding stop on Eloy Jimenez. The O's leave two aboard, still two zip Mets in the fourth. Home half, runners on the corners. Tyrone Taylor serves that pitch into left for an RBI single. And it was looking bleak for Baltimore until the seventh after an RBI ground out and then a balk to score a run. Ramon Urias unloads. 423 feet to left center, and Baltimore comes all the way back to tie it. And cue the one Republic. All that's David Peterson can do is stop and stare. It would then stay 3-3, headed to the bottom of the ninth. Mets catcher Francisco Alvarez. Green light, ball game. First walk-off homer of Alvarez's career. Baltimore drops a half game behind the Yankees. Later for sports. Have a great day, everybody. He's running from dinosaurs, defeated a Marvel superhero, and turned himself into a human fly. Jeff Goldblum takes on a much more mythical role in his next performance. Rick Damagella has the details and more in the Hollywood Minute. Mortals. I made you. And this is how you repay me. Jeff Goldblum portrays the Greek god Zeus in the streaming series Chaos. The modern take on mythology finds the king of the gods worrying about a prophecy of his fall from power. Chaos reigns when the series debuts on Netflix August 29th. Thank you. More Netflix news as Millie Bobby Brown's book has been optioned by the streamer. Deadline reports the Stranger Things actress will adapt her World War II novel 19 Steps into a feature film. Pokemon World Championships are staying stateside. This year's multi-game matchup took place in Honolulu over the weekend. The closing moments featured this trailer announcing the 2025 event will take place in Anaheim, California, with the 2026 showdown landing in San Francisco. Catching them all in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Coming up, Delaware sunburn search, the high ranking the state has when it comes to sunburn concern. Yeah, if your car is a bit crusty, a lot of dirt on that car looking pretty good as far as uh, washing it is concerned over the next few days. We have a green light. Get, get that wax. Get that car nice and shiny because we are going to have some really nice weather to drive around in over the next few days. I'll break it all down in my full seven day forecast in just a few minutes.
Today at 4 on Coast Life, elevate your summer meals with elegant Mediterranean dishes. Plus, take a peek at a peaceful community that's the perfect retreat. And is August too soon for pumpkin spice lattes? Coast Life, today at 4 on Coast TV. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. As a fellow veteran and family-owned business, Morse Roofing and Siding loves to give back to those that have served for the freedoms of this country. Dear Lieutenant Colonel Richard Marks, thank you for your service. In honor of your 20 plus years in the U.S. Air Force, we would like to give you as our gift this new certainty roofing system at no cost to you. And right now, we would like to give a free certainty upgrade to any military veteran between now and December the 31st. There's good. There's better. And then, then there's, there's Morse. Morse. Days at noon on Coach TV. Time is 546, and we are showing you a live look at Salisbury on this pleasant Tuesday morning. We still have some clouds you can see lingering there, but Chris, later on, we're looking at some clear skies, lots of blue, lots of sun. Oh, yeah, and we're going to see a lot of it over the next few days, uh, all thanks to high pressure. Now, right now, seeing temperatures around 66 Rehoboth. We're at 63 in Redden, 66 there in Salisbury, and 68 in Ocean City. We have more of a northwesterly flow now kicking in. That is helping to drop the dew points. They are crashing now. The dew point is 57 there in Milton. 59 and Lewis, so that comfortable dry air is filtering in. There's those winds anywhere from anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Clouds are thinning out. We had some drenching thunderstorms last night. Those have since exited the coast, all thanks to that cold front. But look at this. Look back off to the west. Great Lakes, not a whole lot going on, and that is going to be the case over the next few days. Now, if you're heading out of town, maybe heading off to D.C. airport, DWI and heading to Philly International. We are having, we do have green lights throughout much of the eastern uh, airports, and we are looking pretty good. No major storms to contend with if you're heading on out of Delmarva over the next few days. Now, your muggy meter, well, yeah, we're not going to be talking much about the mugginess over the next few days. And in fact, we may not be dealing with the mugginess until the tail end of the weekend. Sunny, breezy afternoon. We're at 75 in Harrington, 77 in Millsboro this afternoon. We'll see 75 in Federalsburg. We'll see 77 there in Ocean City. So generally the mid to upper 70s this afternoon under clear skies. Northwest winds continue. And by uh, tomorrow morning, we're in the low to mid 50s. So gorgeous. And we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Sunny skies, mid to upper 70s. And that continued sunshine. Thursday morning, we're in the 50s as well. At the coast, Chicoteague, we're at 75 for your Wednesday, 77 into Thursday. Warmer by Friday, we're back up into the lower 80s. Fenwick Island, same in Ocean City. Moderate risk of rip currents today, but the rip current threat should subside by Thursday and Friday, as well as the wave action. You see waves today, generally two to three feet. And then we'll, we'll go back down to more normal levels as we head into uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So 76 this afternoon, so long to the humidity. Maybe uh, open the windows up tonight, 54 under clear skies, 75 for your Wednesday, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. And there's your uh, Climate Prediction Center temperature outlook from the 25th to the 29th, uh, well above average to the west. And that is a sign of things heating up there towards the tail end of the month. And we stay relatively dry, looking at below average precip throughout that time span. Your Paul Davis 7 day shows 78 by Thursday. We bump things back up into the 80s over the weekend. More average-like temperatures for this time of year. And we see those 90s uh, rolling back into the picture by Monday.
All right, thank you, Chris. Along our coast, tropical storm activity churning up the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. On Monday, the Ocean City Beach Patrol says it made 78 rescues. The patrol is on the beaches 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. during its season. That ends on September 22nd, and they are warning that swimming with lifeguards when they're off duty can be dangerous. In addition to those waters, this time of year on our beaches, sun poisoning is another concern. According to a new study conducted by Casino Revisor, Delaware ranks fourth overall when it comes to searching online for information about sunburns, blisters, sun poisoning, and sun rash. And some of the other keywords getting a lot of run on Google, how to treat sunburn, third degree sunburn, and home remedies for sunburn. Now this data is weighted, it searches per 100,000 people. And the only three states to finish ahead of Delaware, Perhaps some obvious ones here, Hawaii, Florida, and South Carolina. You know, one of the worst sunburns I got was in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina one time. All right, still ahead, tasty twists. We have 10 tips to help you pack a lunch that your school-aged children will like. And if you're heading to the beach this afternoon, expecting mostly sunny skies, keep in mind we still do have that moderate risk of rip current seas anywhere from two to three feet. UV index is high, so pack on that sunscreen and don't forget the shades. We'll have more and a look at that 10 day forecast when Coast TV News Today continues. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Millions of dollars of factory direct 2024 inventory. Today through Sunday. With Comico Civic Center. Hundreds of hot tubs and swim spas ready for immediate delivery. Factory direct prices. Many models to choose from. Come see the revolutionary swim spa and save thousands. Trade ins welcome. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. 18 month interest free financing. New 2024 inventory. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. With Comico Civic Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 855 Spa Sale. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness? If you've ever experienced the warning signs of bad circulation, then you need Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. Soothe pain and calm restless legs. Reduce swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet and stimulate healthy circulation. Stay active with Legsercise Pro. When you're close to the land and the sea, you can taste the goodness. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market brings farms closer to tables. Meet the growers, talk to the people that milk the cows, and pick the perfect peaches. Organically grown fruits and vegetables, sustainable meats and eggs, A2 dairy products, artisan breads, and fresh local seafood. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market is in the park every Saturday from 8 to noon and at Crooked Hammock Brewery every Wednesday from 8 to 11.30 a.m. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. To learn more, visit nationalguard.com. You want your children to eat a lunch that's good for them, but packing the same turkey sandwich every day can get a little boring. Me and DeGay, there is 10 healthy ideas to help you break out of the packed school lunch rut. It's not always easy packing healthy lunches that kids will actually eat. We want to put multiple different food groups in there so we can help our kids have the energy they need to get through that school day. Registered dietitian Catherine Sherry says parents can easily make lunch healthy and fun. Try cold pasta salad with whole wheat pasta, Italian dressing, some veggies and cheese. Add a side of fruit and hard boiled eggs for protein. Finger food buffets, low sodium turkey, cheese, whole wheat crackers, cooked green beans, apple slices, and nut or seed butter. 
chicken and guacamole, use rotisserie chicken and whole wheat pita slices, toss in carrots and dip, and some grapes. Nut or seed butter cracker sandwiches, add Greek yogurt or cottage cheese, some sliced bell peppers, and berries. Deconstructed tacos, ground turkey or beef with taco seasoning and all the fixings, add a side of watermelon. Try chicken salad with whole wheat crackers, veggies, and fruit. Roll up your low-sodium deli meat around string cheese, add hummus to dip celery and pita in, and a banana. Leftover pasta, tortellini tastes great cold. Add a fruit cup and a veggie. A chicken wrap, use a whole wheat tortilla, rotisserie chicken, veggies and cheese, maybe some sliced cucumber and ranch to dip. Finally, chicken cubes with barbecue to dip. Carrots, a fruit, and some homemade trail mix. Sherry says to also involve your children. Having them help you pack it is going to make them more likely to eat it. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And to make life easier, the dietitian suggests packing lunch the night before. She says kids don't typically mind eating the same thing over and over. So if you find a healthy meal they enjoy and they're eating it, just go with it. All right, time now is 5.55 on this Tuesday morning and time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. Today's Coastal Pet is a ray of sunshine. Look at that on your screen. That is Teddy. We can see Teddy in there through that ray of sunshine. Teddy enjoying the sunset on his porch after a long day of being the most loved dog in his family. That's quite an honor. Teddy was submitted to us by Trisha in Harbison. We want to see more of your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos. Tell us what makes them so special. On your screen right there is the QR code. If you scan that, you can get your furry friends to us here at Coast TV News. And then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. 5.56 right now and time for another check-in with First Alert Meteorologist Chris Masterbono. Quick look at your forecast before you head out the door. No complaints today, Chris. None at all. If you're complaining today, I don't know what to tell you. We are looking live into Ocean View. There's that uh, super moon we had last night. 65 degrees right now. See temperatures around 67 by around 9. Your 10-day forecast shows highs today. 76. We're dipping down into the low to mid 50s tonight. And we keep that uh, early taste of fall in play through at least Thursday. And then we see temperatures gradually rise back to more seasonable numbers by the weekend. But what you notice here is no rain. No significant rainfall here over the next 7 to 10 days and then uh, by the start of next week though we may be seeing a return of those 90 degree temperatures matt thank you chris coming up in our next hour fixing the ocean flood the efforts underway to get that area the coastal highway in delaware back to normal that and more when coast tv news today continues